Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Very glad that you are here. Today we're gonna talk about you and how I don't want you to burn out. You need to rest and recover. And this is an incredibly important topic. What I have noticed from myself and other people that I've worked with, a lot of people have trouble relaxing and truly calming down chilling their central nervous system out, allowing them to come into a space of pure and true relaxation where your mind isn't still thinking about work or what you did yesterday or what you have to do tomorrow and blah, blah, blah. You're actually like giving yourself to be permission or giving yourself permission to be present, to relax, to chill out, to rest and recover. This is very, very important. Of course, life happens in seasons. We have to learn to go with the flow. We have to learn to step it up and handle whatever needs to be handled when we are in a busy season of our life. But it's also important to pay attention to when we are in a slow season or a season of solitude, a season of preparation or a season of rest and recovery. So regardless of what season you are in, whether you're in a busy season or you are in that cycle where things have seemed to calm down, you don't really know what's next, it's so important for you to take time to chill out and recover. So let's talk first of when you're busy, when you are in that busy season, you're going a million miles an hour, you've got all these different things to do on top of your ordinary responsibilities, it is paramount that you give yourself time to chill out, to get zen with it, to sit on a meditation cushion and stare out at the ocean if you can, or the mountains, or just get some house plants, whatever it is, create a nice chill space, light a candle, some mood lighting, stuff like that, and ambiance, the environment matters, and we'll talk about that in another video about how to really make sure that you're creating a positive, warm, relaxed space for yourself so that you can rest and recover. But again, I digress, that's a separate video. So, especially when you're in a busy season, it's incredibly challenging or can be to shut ourselves off. You've been going five, six, seven days a week for eight, 10, 12, 14 hours a day, whatever it is, and you're just go, go, go. If you've noticed, and I'm sure you've been in a period of your life when it's been like this, when you're in this go, go, go mode and you're working five, six days a week, that day off isn't even really a day off. You're just handling whatever you need to handle to get going right again for the next week. So if you are in this busy season, it's very important that you teach and practice relaxation at the end of the day because what happens is when you're in that go, go, go season and even your day off, you're still doing stuff, you're never giving yourself a chance to mentally, emotionally, physically, spiritually rest and recover. And although you don't have a couple of days or a week or two weeks even to take off and do a staycation or really chill out and rest, if you can practice a little bit each day shutting your mind off, getting in a place of peace, leaving everything behind and allowing yourself to be in a comfortable, relaxed place and getting a good night's sleep. This will be so beneficial for you, obviously, because you're training yourself and your central nervous system to shut down. You're coming out of that fight or flight response. When you're in the go, go, go season in the go, go, go mood, we are in fight or flight. Unless you consciously relax and practice relaxing and getting in the rest and digest rather than the sympathetic we get into the parasympathetic nervous system and allow your nervous system to calm down so you can truly recover you'll begin to feel exhausted you'll begin to feel weak you, you may have you may be extremely tired where you're tired all the time or you may actually have insomnia and be sleeping like crap in these weird cycles you'll notice your diet is off you'll either barely eat all day or all, and then you'll go on these huge binges where you just want junk food and fat and salt and sugar. This is a great indicator and sign for you that your central nervous system is overloaded. Your central nervous system is ramped up. So again, when you're in this busy season, it's very important that you consciously and intentionally chill out and relax. Because if you don't relax on a day-to-day -day basis when you're in this season, again, this leads to burnout, it leads to overwhelm, now you become irritable, your sleep's messed up, you're not thinking clearly, uh, maybe you have headaches, brain fog, uh, ulcers, stomach issues. This is how stress manifests itself. It's your body, it's your mind, it's your soul's way of saying, dude, sis, I'm tired, you gotta let me chill out a little bit. And if you don't, that's when these physical ailments, uh, anxiety, overwhelm, exhaustion, that, these are signs that you're in your central nervous system ramped up all the time in the fight or flight mode. 
So you need to rest so you don't burn out when you're in the busy season. Now, if you're in the slow season of your life, things are actually calming down. Maybe you just had a big win. This is where I'm at currently in my life. Don't be in a rush to move on to the next thing. Again, if you've been in the season of working really hard consistently to achieve a goal, a goal and once you get there, it's kind of like, oh, okay, that was cool. I'm ready for the next thing because this was me. You are also robbing yourself. You're hurting yourself. You got to learn to chill out. You got to learn to calm down. You got to allow yourself to experience and embrace the win that you just created for yourself. Allow yourself to ground into this new space, ground into the new reality and trust. As you know, there's divine timing to any, everything. So you're not going to miss any opportunities. As a matter of fact, the universe wants you to slow down. If you just had a big victory, it wants you to chill out and relish in your accomplishment. Appreciate all the hard work that you put in to get to this point and relax to heal, to build up those energy reserves. This is also a season of preparation. This is when you get to rest, relax, prepare, prepare in your mind, start to just think and clarify what it is I, exa I want exactly. I have this big win. Is this part of my path? Am I on the right track? What's next? What's going on? What does this look like? Rest, relax. You don't need to spring into action right away. As a matter of fact, this is detrimental to you and we'll talk about that in a second. So if you're in the season of rest, of season of preparation, take advantage of it, chill out. Allow yourself to calm down. You will know when the right time is to get going again. It'll become very apparent. You're like, oh, it'll become very clear. You'll get all these synchronicities. You're like, it's time to go again. It's time, time to go. So a good example of this and why this is so hard to do. So imagine, I'm sure you've been in this position before. Remember when you go on vacation or whenever the last time you went on vacation was after a busy season in your life? What were those first, say it's a week long vacation. What was that first day or two like? Were you really in relaxation mode? The answer is probably no, unless you've really been looking forward to it and you're just exhausted. You're like, yeah, and you're, you're great at that. But for most people, when you go into that vacation after a period of being in such a busy mode, it's very hard to calm down. It's very hard to chill out and allow yourself. Like you literally have to tell yourself, hey, it's okay to relax, like let your guard down, chill. Those first day, two days, I would say, are so hard. It's like, it's like you have to take some time to hit the off switch to disconnect from all the busy work and the day-to-day -day, you know, life that you've been going through. And you have to give yourself permission and consciously, intentionally relax. Again, this is the process of bringing your central nervous system out of fight or flight and into rest and digest where you can really recover, where you can really heal your body, where you can really heal your mind. So. It's all about your central nervous system. That's the point of this video. Your central nervous system and your ability to intentionally or relax into that rest and digest mode is paramount to your success. It's paramount to your longevity. It's also important for your mental, your physical, emotional, and spiritual health. It allows you to clarify things. You've got to rest and digest. This is how you don't burn out. And again, we'll talk about tools to get into the rest and digest mode. So if that's you and you've been on vacation or you go on vacation, it's hard to shut off uh, for the first two days or so. Well, imagine what you're like right now in the middle of it and it's Tuesday or Wednesday in the middle of the week and you know that you got four more days of work and then you have a half day off and you got all these activities. You really need to learn and practice in the midst of the chaos every day to chill out just a little bit while you're in this season. And then when things slow down and you are in that season of rest, the season of preparation, then you can really relish in it, shut down, really build your energy reserves back up. So you need a break. If you're extra tired or you have insomnia, your appetite's weird, you are ramped up and you really need a break. So what I was talking about, this is exhaustion, this is your central nervous system, your body sending you signals, you have constant headaches, whatever it is, right? Some ailments, you're burning out, you need to chill out, you need to get into rest and digest. Uh, again, after a big victory, it, you need to celebrate and integrate, you need to rest and recover. This is also a time to prepare and clarify. One thing that's important to note, a lot of people, me and myself included, I had an ex-client that was the most extreme example of this, have a challenge with feeling guilt and shame when you rest. 
In other words, it's almost like you feel guilty for relaxing, regardless how big of the victory, you can't rest and digest because you're like, God, I feel guilty. I feel like I should still be doing some. Well, one, there's two things going on. The momentum that you had built to achieve that goal has been built up. So it's not just gonna disappear overnight. You're gonna need some time to come down, to relax. So you worked really hard to get the mountain, you hit your goal, and now you need some time to come down. You don't just crash immediately, or hopefully you don't. You don't wanna do that. So you need time to chill out. You need time to rest and don't feel guilty about this. When a lot of the guilt that we experience that comes from calming down at all, relaxing, we're not working hard enough. It's a trauma response. It's a negative program that was instilled in your mind, probably by your parents or your caretakers, your teachers, certainly social media and uh, you know, this whole hustle, hustle culture, I'll you know, work when I'm dead. And there is some truth to that, but we can do that in another video because you do need to work hard and be focused for an extended period of time. However, I'm not about the whole like, you know, burn the candle at both ends, burn the midnight oil until you die, until you drop. I don't think that's the most effective way to go about it. You can do that for a period of time, but it's just not sustainable. I'm more of the sustainable approach now because I used to be that guy. I used to burn out and oh my God, I would start so hard and fast and get so much done so quickly and all these people would be like, whoa, dude, you're crazy. But then I would just crash and burn. I would never finish because I burnt out so hard. So I've learned that longevity, at least for me, you have your own approach, by the way. If that's what works for you, there's nothing wrong with that. More power to you as long as you're handling what you're handling and your life is improving, that's all good. For me, I've learned for myself and for most people, it's a process of gradual undulating up and down nonlinear growth. As long as you are slowly ascending, going up and down with that, it's totally good. But you should never feel guilty or ashamed about resting, that's a trauma response, that's the negative programming saying, you're not good enough, you need to do more. And unless you've conquered that program, you've healed that wound within yourself, you will always feel the need to go, go, go and never rest. And then when you do rest or you're forced to rest through sickness or something happens, you'll feel guilty because you're not doing enough, that's a trauma response, that's something to be healed. We can talk about that as well. So how do we get into this space when we're in the busy season of resting? It's simple things. You handle the basics. Are you drinking enough water? Are you eating healthy food? Are you giving yourself quiet time to decompress away from social media and TV? Unless that's how you just wanna zone out, there's nothing wrong with that too. Are you getting in bed at a good hour without scrolling on your phone all night? Are you uh, abstaining not going overboard with uh, you know, weed or alcohol, whatever it is. Some people like to smoke a bowl, some people like to drink a glass of wine, whatever, or none of that above. But just don't go overboard and be getting hammered. If you're obviously getting hammered and drinking a bottle of two or wine a night or a bottle of whiskey or you know, smoking 10 blunts every night, then you're trying to escape uh, and now it's becoming a crutch. So be aware of that. But it's important to chill out and rest. So handle the basics, your sleep, your food, your water, meditation, every day, every night. Give yourself a quiet time and quiet and solitude space if you can, away from everybody, away from everything, to just chill out, to connect with yourself, to just breathe, just I sit by my plants, meditate with a crystal, chill out, breathe, silence. Allow yourself to clear all the energy of the day, if you, especially at the end of the day. If you do this even for 10 minutes in the morning, It'll help you clear your mind and be more present throughout the day and be more effective. If you do this at the end of the day, it will help you clear your mind and have a much more deep, restful sleep and allow you to get into the rest and digest mode to where you wake up, you're feeling refreshed. So don't feel guilty, give yourself time to rest. It's so important, guys. So uh, go out in nature. If you, going out with friends is how you decompress, that's great, but a lot of the time if you're overwhelmed, you're super burnt out, sleep and solitude and silence is what you need because you're so bombarded all day, every day with so much work and outside extra stimuli in order to balance the scale, get back to your center, right? If we're talking about being balanced and centered, you were this way, getting bombarded, working so hard, well, what would be the opposite of that? Silence, solitude, away from other people, away from other things, away from distractions, because you've been wound up, so to get back to center, you need to do the opposite, and then we meet in the mid middle. Makes sense, right? So just balance yourself, give yourself time to rest and digest, guys. Very, very important. The quote I'll leave with you today, leave you with today, is, rest is not idleness, and to lie sometimes on the grass under the trees on a summer day, listening to the murmur of the water or watching the clouds float across the sky is by no means a waste of time. 
John Lubbock. A lot of the times, the analogy I'll give you, I'll leave you with also is like this. If you're chopping wood and you are chopping wood for six hours straight with no break and a dull ax, you're gonna get pretty burnt out, you're gonna get pretty tired. What if you gave yourself a 15 minute break to get some water every hour and you sharpened your ax? You'd be a lot more effective and be much more efficient and not burning out as hard. This is you. This is you as you achieve your goals. Do not burn out. You taking time to rest and digest a little every day is you sharpening your ax so you're more effective and more efficient. So hopefully this was helpful for you today. I really appreciate you. Uh, your support and watching and being here and most importantly working on yourself because that's what this is about That's what this channel is about. So uh, if you, this resonated with you, please let me know in the comments would love to connect with you And don't forget to like subscribe to the channel uh, if you like the content This is kind of what we're doing personal development spirituality. It's just how we roll uh, Other than that, I love you so much and I will see you next time. Peace